Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for Undead Unluck, episodes 9 and 10. So last episode, we got introduced to Vic Victor, Victor, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Victor got a victory, um, who said he wasn't the god of it, who said he wasn't a god. It was, I'm just going to say it blankly, it was a lot of lore dropped last episode about uh, Andy and a lot more that we don't know about him. I had a lot of theories, and I'm still keeping those theories going forward. If you want to hear them more in depth, go check out that video. For now, I'm behind on these, like I, I missed last week's episode, so we're doing a twofer in this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get straight into this. So, all that being said, last episode was very good. I really, it's probably my favorite episode of the entire series, so I'm very hyped to see where this one goes. The Union, all of the Union is here, all the round table is here, and they are here to fight Victor and take him down. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Without further ado, let's hop straight into Undead Unluck, episode 9. Ooh. Her negator's pretty sick, so I'm expecting her to put up a good fight against him, honestly. Ooh, he put her down on one knee. Oh, she got him, but you're going up against a guy who can literally regenerate instantaneously. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Good moves to get them out of there. This is wild. Oh. Oh, he gets the pole now. <laughs> yeah, Shen took quite the beating in there. What is he doing? He's just running laps? Maybe it's part of his negator or something. The longer he runs, the more speed he gains. Uh, it's quite the gamble because he's trying to kill you. He's very actively attempting to kill you. Oh, gave her a gun! Shen has put his faith in Fuko, which I think is the right decision. I, I don't know how, but she seems determined, so maybe she's got something in mind. That's fair. That's a fair statement. Oh, now he's after her. Oh, and he's taking her in. <laughs> oh, he calls her brat, but <laughs> calls her brat, but he looks younger than her. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that comeback to Shin was brutal. Oh my god, it's just non-stop action. This looks really good too, the animation looks great. Mm. Oh my god! Yeah, he's just sending out his body doubles to go and analyze all their uh, negators, which is not, not ideal, honestly. Because I feel like once he figures them all out, which he probably will, he probably has fantastic... Because they said in the intro that he's never lost a fight. So he probably has amazing analytical abilities to the point where he's able to analyze everybody's power and figure out how to stop them pretty easily. Huh. Damn, her sword looks sick like that. They have UMA burn burning her sword. They literally have the rule of burn on her sword right now. Not just any fire is burning her sword. It is the UMA itself burning her sword. <laughs> it's just like one undead taking on everybody. <laughs> oh my god. That's such a unique way to fight. The way he like uses the points of his bones. The fight is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuku does seem to have some kind of plan. She's holding her own against him. Very surprising. But we... My only thing is we saw her unluck not work last time. Also, she unpinned her shirt for whatever reason, so that's a thing that's about to happen. But we saw her unluck didn't work last time when she touched him with her hand, so... This ought to be interesting, because she pulled the gun out as well. I, I, I genuinely, usually I'm able to kind of like, figure out what's about to happen. No idea how she's going to go about this. Because we saw the, un the unluck didn't work in the last episode, so... I don't know what's going to happen here, I guess we're about to find, um... Ah! <laughs> They're all just like, what the hell? Uh, and this poor guy can't see! No! 
everybody's all shocked and like stopped fighting because she just took off her shirt and put it or not her shirt her bra and put it around him <sighs> yeah that's certainly a plan and it seemed to have exploded all of them for whatever reason <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I guess we're about to find out how it works. I hate to admit it, but yes. If you can bring it back for even a split second. Oh god. Oh god. Well, she had him stop for a second. Man, they are really trying to kill her, but they're. This is crazy. This animation looks so damn good. It looks so good. That's so sick. Oh my god. That attack was so sick! Oh my god! And he sends her flying with a single swipe! Couldn't he just... Realistically, couldn't Victor just take his fingers and go like this and blast Fuko in the face? Is that not something he could do? Maybe there's a reason he's not doing that. I don't... Really know why? Because he's spawning the doubles and sending the doubles to kill her. But she's just on his shoulder, not doing anything. So couldn't he just pull off even just one finger and shoot it like a bullet? I don't know. Maybe there's probably some reason behind why he can't do that. She's pretty damn good, man. Oh, yep. What did I say? Okay, so they actually brought up that point. I was like, why is he not doing that? But then he literally put the finger to her face and they knocked it out of the way. So this guy is going to be the one to stop him from doing that. Oh, God. Ooh, yeah, he's kind of learning how their stuff works. I don't, a kiss, maybe? Would a kiss bring him back? Another one just takes its place. It's true, he's very secretive about himself and what he likes. Oh my god, the eye detail. Let's go, Fuko. Oh. Oh! She just stuck her finger in his forehead! This is such a strip. Like, this is so cool because she's like fighting back, but at the same time, her shirt is just stuck around his head. <laughs> or once again, not even sure it's her bra. It's just like totally naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's so strange. At this point, I should be accustomed to seeing naked characters in this show because Andy is completely naked and most of the time, except for now he's got clothing, so he's forced to not be that way. <laughs> He'll come out for that because he wants to die. The blood stopping. <gasps> he's back! I'm taking it! Oh, let's go! A big ol' smooch. <laughs> this poor guy again! They keep doing him dirty, everybody's like, Oh my god, and then he's just like, Huh? <laughs> this is beautiful. Genuinely beautiful. Yeah, you better run now. We'll pick this up again next time. <laughs> <laughs> Her outfit is just all but ruined at this point. I was gonna comment because it's just every time they're like in a scene where, where everybody's like standing still, they just show Top just sprinting by at full speed. I wonder what his negator is, like what allows him to run like that or like the forces him to keep running like that. It's gonna be very interesting finding out every everybody's true negators as we go along. <gasps> no way! Shen, let's go! Oh my god, what was that? Since I've lost to humans. 
Oh my god, it's a meteor shower. A literal meteor shower. Her unluck is overpowered. The one bad thing is that she has to really like a person, but if she could do something like that, a literal meteor shower could wipe out an enemy force instantly. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Oh my god, so much water is coming out because of that. Well, we are all alive. <laughs> so now you just gotta stick the card back in his forehead. Oh, she's going down to stick the card in. Oh my god, he's burnt to a crisp. Oh yeah, that's probably not great. She's gonna get that card in and get Andy to take her out of there real fast. <laughs> You're one hell of a gal. Andy's gotta get her the hell out of there. Where's Shin as well? I don't think I saw Shin with them. Oh, we just cut forward. I don't know how many days. I can't remember what the time said in the last episode, but we just cut pretty far forward, I think. Oh my god, why is there so many manga? <laughs> 101 volumes. <laughs> Dude, God, I'm just going to pause on that for a second because, oh my God, this show, if nothing else, the eye details are f***ing gorgeous. They, do, they love these shots. They do them all the time, and I don't know why, but they just love the eye shots in this show. He'd be Victor. Stuck as Victor. Uh, see, now we're at an interesting dynamic because Andy still wants to die. But it's becoming to the point where Fuko doesn't want him to die because she loves him. Tough. Because the whole point of their relationship in the first place was so Andy could get himself killed. Fuko might not want that anymore and that's gonna cause some strife between them, I feel. Or maybe Andy will just go along with it. I really don't know. The only thing I could hear was your voice. Aww. He didn't call her brat for once. He actually called her by her name. <laughs> Aww. Oh, her. She gave her a little doll. That's cute. Oh, they came by to visit too. Stop, that's too sweet. I like this ending to the arc. Very wholesome to Big Sister. <laughs> this soundtrack is crazy. It sounds so grand, I guess is the word I would use. Oh my god. I feel like I've just had a big grin on my face this entire episode. Like, my, my mouth is starting to hurt. I've had a grin so much. <laughs> Powerful emotions reach their destinations without spoiling. <laughs> oh god. Who did it hit? I didn't hit Andy. That was not- that was not Andy's voice. Oh, that's Clothy! Oh my god, that's not Andy screaming, that's Clothy screaming in pain. You loony lovebirds. <laughs> Can't argue the loony though. Hey, Shen's back to normal! Oh, we better get our new- oh. Oh, we get the rewards for it, which was, um, if I'm not mistaken, Unrepair, I believe? Oh, the six quests. So all the quests are done. Okay. I thought we were just going over the results of the spoil quest, but no. It's every quest has been either completed or failed at this point. But I'm pretty sure the reward for completing um, their quest, uh, Fuku and Andy's quest, was Unrepair. So that could, uh, I'm, in I'm intrigued to see what that is. That was a good episode. I really did enjoy that. I think that... I, I don't really have much to say, honestly, because that was a very straightforward episode. Fuko came in, gave him the kiss, brought him back for a split second, got the greatest stroke of unluck we've seen up until this point, a whole damn meteor shower. Uh, I mean, I'm, I actually am very intrigued to see, like, what, <laughs> what sex would be, because, oh my god, just from a single kiss and, like, touching with the shirt off was an entire meteor shower. So I feel like going a step 
in front of that would be like world destroying <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, obviously we have one more episode to go. So I think I'm going to keep this end discussion short and hop straight into Undead Unluck episode 10. I'm excited to see the rewards we're going to get for this and what how the other group's missions uh, went. The hell is happening here? Oh, that statue of Jesus is... That's weirdly creepy. Feels like um, if you guys ever ever seen the Mandela catalog. That's that's what that felt like right there. I feel like a frame from that. Unseen. This is an Aaron's voice actor. I think it is. What's his name? Yuki Kaiji, I think. Something like that. Mm. Oh. Ew. Okay, so we've got some other organizations out here who want uh, UMAs and negators on their side. The heck is going on here? Quests ended. My god, these camera angles. Flipping around from person to person. Shen is number two. Interesting. Alright, let's see what we succeeded in and what we failed in. Gotta count how many days she was out. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna fail at least one. I don't think we're gonna get them all. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that was even a quest. She was quite literally using burn in the fight. Damn, they took like... <laughs> they took three out of the top five for that one. Oh, never mind. It took six people for that one. Oh! Okay, who would we add though? Maybe we're gonna go for that unseen guy like we saw at the beginning of the episode That's probably why that was a thing in the first place is because we're gonna go after that guy and bring him to be the 11th member Because I feel like unseen could be it, it is quite literally the best stealth negator possible You may eat once again Jewies Damn they're getting a lot of missions in what is the reward for this one? Oh, so we're going to have UMA burn and negator unburn. This is so weird. It's, it is literally like this. We're playing like games with God. Like that is so, such a uniquely cool concept. I don't think I've ever seen a show with this kind of concept before. Well, obviously I've never seen a show with this kind of concept, but one, especially one this unique and cool. Yeah. Wow, we're three for three so far. They, wait, they killed language? Every, so the entire world's gonna speak J Japanese now? Is that what's about to happen here? The entire world is gonna now speak Japanese. What the hell? This is- oh, this is so cool. I love this. So that just happened instantaneously. Everybody now speaks the same language. What did it change to? Yep, everybody is now speaking Japanese. Oh, memories and cultures of all non-negators. Oh. Oh, she's in there here getting a good lift in. So everybody is now speaking English. Oh wait, Mui's, Mui's not a negator, right? So she's not going to remember any Chinese whatsoever. Shen remembers it because he's a negator and it said none of them got their memories wiped, but she won't remember that at all. Interesting. Th that is literally something like a god could do. Just wipe the memories of every human on Earth and replace it with everybody knows English now. Obviously, for the show's sake, they're going to speak Japanese because this is a Japanese manga, but they all realistically speak English, which if a scenario like this were to happen, obviously not going to happen. But if it were to, English would probably be the prevailing language as English is the most used language in the entire world. Was that a shot down her chest? I didn't even notice. She doesn't recognize it, does she? Yeah! Wow. Just had to confirm. Wow, we might actually succeed in all of them. UMA passed. So this was the capture. Artifact Rebellion. I feel like, oh my god, man. I feel like this is so thought out. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It feels so thought out. Like, every detail and everything that's happening right now feels like it's so meticulously thought out. Like, there's no way you could just come up with 
giving them some ability, so giving them the uh, um, what was it? Our artifact rebellion. There's no way you could just come up with that on the spot. Like this seems like every little detail that's happening is specifically planned out for a specific reason. Like nothing feels like it's there for no purpose if that makes any sense like every detail feels like it was meticulously thought out beforehand and is going to have some use at some point they've just got him trapped in there now we get unrepair <laughs> a location of unrepair okay so they just get the location he's in south america Hmm. He doesn't seem too thrilled about it. Ah, damn! So we- Ah, man! If we had completed all of those, I'm pretty sure he had said that if you completed all of them, a new rule was not added for the month. And that's their whole goal in the first place, is to stop these new rules from being tossed in every month. But they usually fail, because there's usually one that's too difficult. Damn, so they just didn't get item 6. Negator Unseen. That's so tough. I mean, to be fair, how are you gonna capture Unseen? I don't even know how those people we saw earlier captured Unseen. Like, in what world are you going to be able to do that from a guy you literally can't see? Oh god. All of them bled to death. That would make sense. That guy we saw at the beginning was Negator Unrepair. Because he said, as long as I'm alive, your wound will not stop bleeding. And if you agree to go with us, I'll stop the bleeding in your wound. That's Unrepair for sure. What was the... Oh, that's right. No way, right? This is how the stars get added into the, st into the sky? Because before this, Fuko had uh, made a painting when she was with Gina. Gina had made a painting of, like, the beach, and Fuko had made the a similar painting, but put stars because she said the moon looked lonely. But Gina was like, why did you put stars there? There's no stars in our universe. She didn't say that directly, obviously, because she doesn't know what a star is, because it's... Not a thing, but now this will put stars into their sky. It'll make Foucault's imagination there become reality because this new rule is being added. That is, to me, that is so cool. Unbelievably cool. Like, when I watched the first episode of this show, this was never a possibility in a million years in my mind that something like this would be where we're headed with this show. Wasn't even a possibility. But I love the direction we're taking. There's so much that can be done with such a unique an amazing concept. He literally just spit the galaxies out. The galaxy's like a being. Oh, well, obviously, duh. It's UMA Galaxy. So this is the UMA for all the galaxies now out there. No reaction from the one or two or seven or either of them. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty damn big. It's a pretty big punishment to release the galaxy. Yeah, this is a UMA you quite literally can't capture or kill ever. Like, this UMA will be here for the rest of existence. I know I'm pausing a lot this episode and I do apologize, but I feel like with all these rewards, there's a lot I want to talk about. For this UMA, there's no way to kill or capture it. I'm not even sure Victor could take this UMA down. This is quite literally the galaxies that go on for millions and billions of light years. Even Victor couldn't take this down. Off he goes. Whoa. Oh. It's this guy. Oh. So this is the guy who does these. Look at Andy catching her. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's gone. Their base is in Australia? Quite the show. Oh, so he likes to see her fight, it seems. Are they gonna try and take down Galaxy before it gets out there? Yeah, notice how, like, the night sky is just pitch black. It's so cool that you can pick out these little foreshadowing details very early on with like, I don't even know if I'd call that foreshadowing, that's just straight up telling you. Because in episode four when we met Gina, we didn't know things like this, like UMAs and stuff really existed. We knew they existed, but we didn't know what they were or what their purpose was. Now that we do, you go back and look at that and you're like, that's not even foreshadowing, that's just straight up telling you that there's no stars in the sky. Lead humanity to ruin. Off he goes. Oh my god. 
Well, there you go. <laughs> stop. Stop. That is, I just got chills. I just got chills. M major chills. That was so cool. That was so cool. I, like, genuine, genuine chills. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. The way it just, like, created the universe and, like, tossed Earth into orbit with all the other planets around it. And then created the galaxy. That was so cool. And, like, the sound effects they use, man. Oh, my. David Productions is killing it with this show. Now you got the night sky. Yeah, you're not taking that out. Sorry to say. And it goes to all these scenes we've seen beforehand where there was no stars. And now there's stars. Who's he talking to? Oh, he's talking to regular people to find out what information and knowledge they've been given. So I assume that they're going to know all of what we like all about the solar system as like what we know now. What we know about the galaxies and stars and that's going to be a lot of information to give him all at once because this is a huge UMA. Oh my god. How m how much did the world change? Miss Oh! Wow! Wow! Earlier, uh, when Victor was first brought and he was first fighting Shin, he asked Shin what day of the week it was, and Shin couldn't tell him. Shin had no idea what a day of the week even was, which both implies. That Victor knew about Days of the Week at some point in the past, possibly killed that UMA, or killed a UMA such as Galaxy. Maybe Galaxy was a thing in the past, and Victor killed it, and that's why there was no Galaxy, no Days of the Week, anything like that. I don't know if that's actually the case, that's me spitballing a possible theory, but at some point... Days of the week existed, the, the UMA for that was killed, and then now that Galaxy has been added, Days of the Week are back in the mix. Oh man, I wonder if Shin's gonna realize that Victor had asked him about Days of the Week. Aliens are invading us? What? What? What the hell? Born moments ago from the alteration to a world that always had Galaxy. What the what is happening? This is like feels like the biggest mind of all time. What is happening right now? Oh my god. Yeah, so then they've always existed. Huh. I wager that's their backstory. So like every alien story ever. Oh, and that's right. The UMA language is gone. So these aliens speak Japanese. <laughs> that's so... The way that works is so unique. Now that language is gone, and now that <laughs> galaxy has been added and there's aliens, there's no language for those aliens to inhabit. So they just speak Japanese and write in, like, English. They speak Japanese. They obviously speak English. But it's a... Once again, as I said earlier, it's a Japanese manga. So... They speak Japanese. Oh man, that's so cool. That's so cool. Pretty damn extreme one. Moderate intelligence. Oh, well, I guess it's now all of our negators versus this entire alien fleet. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, that was just like the strike of a nuke. Due to your species' lack of cooperativeness. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, is she taking her? It's time for her negator to be put to use. Damn, she beautiful. <laughs> Unjustice is her negator. Did she just made them start fighting each other? <laughs> so she she takes somebody's sense of justice and turns it on his head. And his sense of justice was bringing all of his aliens together and attacking Earth so all of them can live together in peace and take over this planet. But she flipped that on its head so now they're all gonna kill each other. Wow. This is wild.
<laughs> He's probably so- he has no idea what's happening. That's why she asked him, is that your form of justice? His entire alien fleet's dead now. Yeah. 99th penalty added. Yeah, more of these would be pretty earth shattering. Oh god. Well, yeah, what? And the final penalty is probably just killing. Oh god, literally Ragnarok. This is bad. So we only have two more failures. Two more failures. Oh. So we have to find an 11th member now. Oh god. I feel like the whole trajectory of this story has completely changed. Like it is nowhere near where we were at at the beginning of this show. It's not even close anymore. Wow. This is crazy. <laughs> I assume it's probably going to end up being unseen. Woo! She's a badass, man! Oh my god, she made him go insane. Only every ship totally annihilated. As all contact would cease thereafter because of her. <laughs> Man, I honestly needed that bit of comedy after how s intense this episode's been. It's gonna be difficult because he uh, doesn't exactly seem like the most cooperative person. I would assume Fuko. Oh, never mind. It's gonna be Andy and Tatiana. And Fuko. This is crazy. Genuinely crazy. Okay, <laughs> that just happened, I guess. Okay, um... I'm not even sure what to say, or if I can adequately describe what I'm thinking right now, because oh my god, what did I just watch? That happened, that was an episode that just, that I just watched. I'm gonna need some time to process, honestly, and I'm sure your com your comments will help clarify anything. But I don't, I'm not, I don't even have questions, honestly. It's more that I'm just shell-shocked that this is the direction the story is taking. Because this was not even on my radar of possible places this story could go. But it's happening, and it's really cool, and really crazy, <laughs> all at the same time. But yeah. I understand generally pretty much everything from what I've watched today. All really cool. I see the direction we're headed. We're gonna go have an altercation with Unrepair as we continue and try and get these quests rolling because we got three months. So we need to get Unrepair as quickly as possible so we can get the quests rolling. We'll see how that all goes. Um, but I think that is gonna wrap it up for my reactions to Undead Unluck episodes 9 and 10. This is crazy. <laughs> That's all I have to say, because I don't, like, I don't, it, that's what it is, this is crazy. But, um, yeah, like I said, that's gonna wrap it up for my reactions to Undead and Luck, episodes 9 and 10. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.